Hey there, Caleb Dennison with Digital Trends at Cedia 2017, and I gotta tell you, there is so much amazing stuff to look at here, but I can only take the time to show you the absolute best stuff, and that is why I'm here at Polk within the Sound United booth, because this is one special soundbar. This is the Polk Magnify Max SR soundbar. This was actually announced back in May, but this is the first time anybody's getting their eyes and ears on it. I got a demonstration earlier, and I'll tell you about that in a second. First, I wanna tell you about the soundbar itself. It's got three HDMI inputs on the back one HDMI ARC it also has an optical digital connection and there's a wire provided for that in the box uh, there's also Ethernet although it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth what's more this offers Google Home and Google cast functionality so if you have a Google Home speaker you can actually command the soundbar with voice commands you can tell it to play a Spotify playlist turn off turn on uh, you can even adjust the volume that way if you don't have a Google Home speaker though you can still cast content with your uh, phone tablet or a Google Chrome browser. Just bring up YouTube or Spotify, any of those compatible apps, and you can cast content directly to the soundbar, and it's gonna play it for you. Now, the soundbar offers three distinct channels in the soundbar itself, in the left, right, and center channels, and then it's got a 80-watt wireless 8-inch subwoofer that comes as part of the package, and that right there will cost you $500. For $600, you can add in the wireless surround speakers. You just need to plug them into the wall. They'll automatically connect to the soundbar and you're good to go. It supports Dolby Digital and DTS, so whether you're using a UHD Blu-ray, standard Blu-ray, DVD, any of your streaming apps off your TV, it's gonna support the best possible surround sound format. Now, about the surround sound. It sounds incredible. I heard this earlier today. Uh, it was dynamic, it was powerful, it was very clean. I haven't had a chance to listen to much in the way of music, but the, the home theater uh, movie presentation I heard was spectacular. That's why I wanted to rush down here and tell you all about it. We've got more in the full right up below this video. Be sure to check that out. Now I wanna move on to the Cigna Solo. This is on the opposite end of things for Polk. It's a much more affordable soundbar at $130, and it's standalone. It's not gonna come with a subwoofer. It uses uh, four two and a half inch drivers inside with special bass ports to give you a nice full sound from a simple, easy to use soundbar. Like the soundbar I just described to you, it's got a voice dialogue uh, clarity module in it. You can also engage a music mode, uh, night mode if you want to, in addition to the movie mode that you'll probably use the most. Just 130 bucks makes it a really great value proposition. And finally, new at CDF for Polk, announced here today was the HTS series of subwoofers. There's a 10 inch variant and a 12 inch variant uh, powered by a 200 watt and 400 watt amplifier each uh, respectively. And what's neat about this is it matches up with the port technology that they have in the signature series speaker. So as you can see in this cutaway on the subwoofer, it's a very unique port design, very long, which uh, tunes well. And and also eliminates chuffing entirely. You're gonna get a lot of value out of these subwoofers. What I've heard from the previous iteration was excellent. I expect these to be even better. So that's what's new from Polk at Cedia 2017. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and be sure to check out all the rest of our Cedia coverage from San Diego Convention Center.